This is a time of choice for the country. This is a time when we can decide to go down the path President Obama has put us on. He said he wants to pool our resources and, and, and reallocate, all right? He's going he's gonna to take from some and, and give to others. This redistribution idea, this redistribution idea has been tried in other places. This is not a new idea. It's just never worked in other places. And it's certainly not going to work here. He wants a bigger and bigger government, trillion-dollar deficits. What that leads to is not more people coming out of poverty. It's putting more people into poverty. Look, government is there and must be there for people who need help, for disabled, for, for the elderly that need help, for, for those that can't care for themselves. Of course, we will always be there. We're a compassionate people. But as someone has said, we don't measure compassion by how many people are on food stamps. We measure compassion by how many people can get off of food stamps and get a good job. I'm convinced, I'm convinced that the path he's put us on is the path to Europe. Or I jokingly say to California, all right? And I don't want to go there. That's not working there. I don't want to have it come here. I don't want to have a government getting bigger and bigger, more intrusive, telling us what kind of health insurance we have to have. I don't want to have a government that becomes so large that it smothers the American dream. I don't want to have a government that takes from some and gives to others. What I want to do is restore the principles of freedom that made America's economy work in the first place. I believe in the vision of the founders. I believe that when they said God gave us our rights, they were right. And among those rights are life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness.